Ajay. Schools just reopened. Unfortunately, some teacher unions are on strike. They are on strike for a medley of reasons. This morning on Daily Runs, we want to interact with some of them for them to tell us why they are on strike and whether they are going to rescind that decision anytime soon. This is the Daily Runs. Let's keep talking. Public Service Commission, they have this uh, program that is HRMIS, uh, Human Resource Management Information System, that is uh, being used to pay all public workers. And that is bringing a lot of problems to the teacher. First problem, transfer of teachers. Now you cannot even take a transfer from, let's say, Asankrigua to Takradi because the system will not allow it. Problem is that maybe you are deputy director at Asankrigua and you are coming to Takradi Secondary School. It has been programmed that Takradi Secondary School, they should have only one deputy director, which is the headmaster. So somebody who is coming from Asankrigua to teach physics, Takradi Secondary School need physics teacher all right. But because he is a deputy director, it has, it has not been budgeted for it in Tadi School. He cannot come there. A lot of teachers, especially the female teachers who want to join their husbands. And successive government have decided to treat teachers as if we, are, we don't matter in this system. You have employed people, promoted them to a certain level. You need to give them the needed salary arrears. They have all the data, yet they are not paying. You introduce what you call the human resource management information system. We are not fighting against the system. But if the system is not working, you must have a way of reviewing it. You see, in our system, if you have a class one, a teacher who is a principal superintendent can teach in class one. A teacher who is an outstanding director of education can teach in class one. But now the system is said that if a class one teacher who is a PS leaves, it means a principal superintendent must replace the person. What happened? How do we go about that one? People's management unit, ordinary management unit, they cannot change. How so, old is this system? No, well, this one has been here, I think, just a later part of last year that it was introduced. Were you that, consulted? You know, that is another problem. Government will do po policy for teachers or for, the, for students, and they think that they have technocrats who are sitting somewhere, and they plan anything, and then dump it on teachers, and they expect us to do what, what, what is expected. When we don't know what is it, sometimes they will plan their own uh, programs or their policies, invite the teacher unions for two hours, three hours meeting, and they use the list as if they have That's consulted. Information. Yes, information. So what we, Coalition of Consent Teachers, what we are saying is that by 20th of September, if this HRMIS is not suspended, we will advise ourselves. We should a press release which states that we will start the picketing, and after the picketing, we will take our next action. So all that we are calling for is that this HRMI is not working, so it should be suspended with immediate effect. If you go to uh, the police, Ghana Police Service, like Western Region, we have regional commander who is a DCOP. It's only one DCOP. Yes. There is no, no other DCOP. DCOP. If you go to the divisional command, there is ACP, only one ACP. So that one will work for the police service. But it cannot work for Ghana Education Service. Ghana Education Service, you can even have a deputy director who is not a headmaster, but teaching in the classroom. So you have budgeted for, let's say, a particular school, one deputy director. So no other deputy director should come there. I mean, what kind of... Uh, we Even when we held our 31st uh, July uh, press conference, we said something must be done about the system. If, they can, if the GES can have its own uh, uh, system. Now that we are having a lot of challenges in GES, in, the, in terms of a payment of um, arrears and promotions and this and that we are having, suspend the HRMIS. Go ahead with the normal system of IPPD2. Put the teachers on scale. Pay them the needed arrears. Let everything be done correctly. When we have done all these ones and we have sorted all these right, then you can migrate the GES onto the system. Please, what we are telling them is that now we are very much awake. We are very much awake. So this thing has to be suspended with immediate effect and the necessary review has to be done. I can tell you, I, for instance, I went on promotion last year. As of now, I've not gotten anything. Even the scale, I'm not there. And I've tendered in all the necessary document. What is happening? The HRMIS. You can't do promotion. You can't do upgrading. Transfers, you can't do it. And so now, they are trying to use some strategies of avoiding transfers. You apply for a transfer and they give you flimsy excuses. You transfer a teacher and you write a letter that it is in the interest of the service. Immediately, they become the interest of the service. It means that the service are budgeted for it. Now, I heard of this 50-kilometer thing that should be transferred beyond 50 kilometers. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? How many districts in this country span over 50 kilometers? If you go to Accra, look at it. This is how they are compact. It means that if you transfer one person from a particular end of a, a, a district to another, the person will not get anything. And is that the way we should go? And on top of that, you have to even write an undertaking. That is it. To write an undertaking. That I will not collect yeah, any, I mean, any, any transfer grant. Which you are entitled to. Entitled to. <laughs> we are also learning that some SIC compulsory deductions, yeah. which we are not too happy about. This issue is more or less like a soup on fire. 
please they should spare us we are already having insurance policies individually GESSIC if they want people if they want to market their policy they should run to the various teachers individually talk to them convince them so that if they are interested they will join we have not entered into anything and therefore we are not hesitant they should stop the deductions and refund all the monies with immediate effect in fact this thing is getting too much on our heads why why is the teacher being suppressed so much if we are in tech right now, as we want to go to Yoso, there's a car going to Yoso. Do you put all of us in the car and tell us that if you don't want to go, go to Yoso, get down? Yeah. Now, this SIC policy, it has been forced on our necks, and they are saying that if you don't want it, exit. exit. What kind of thing is that? What is that? Have we called for any policy? Have we signed any form for which we are supposed to exit? In policy, in an insurance policy, you are doing it for your nest of kin. GS will tell us how many people have given them their nest of kins. Now, do we even know the package, package that is there for the teachers? Again, they are saying it's a subsidized policy. How much is Government, uh, government paying for the teacher, for which we should pay that in Ghana cities. Somebody says somewhere and think that for teachers, they can do anything to us. Um, we are saying that if they don't stop this SIC thing, this, that's why we will not even write to anybody. They will see it on the street. The last question should go to the controller and accountant general. Yes. Per their own rules, the TPRs, if you want to deduct somebody, the person must be aware. Ah. So why are they deducting the 10 Ghana cities without our consent? Who gave them the authorization? And I learned SIC has pitched camp at GES headquarters. They have an office there. They are targeting the 400,000 uh, 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 workers of GES. So that 4 billion every month to SIC for no work done. What is it? When they were introduced last year, I was at uh, I was at the central region. They only invited us to participate in the workshop they were running for heads of senior high schools and heads of education. That was all. There was no uh, conscious effort at asking for our input. They just brought it. We agitated, sent a communicate to the president or even the minister, uh, the ministry, the GS, whatever. But nothing happened. The deduction was stopped for a while. Within the following month, somewhere I guess it resurfaced on our pay slip. Please, we are telling them with all humility, GS. Whoever is involved in this deduction, coalition of concern, we are not interested. So they should stop and refund all monies. Some people have issues with your timing, mm. that you wait for schools to reopen. Then you go on to government. A blacksmith, a blacksmith will strike when the iron is hot. When we are on vacation, what impact is it going to make? When doctors are on leave, would they go on strike? No. We, if you go on strike, eh, nobody will die. Even people who go on strike and people die, they are there. We can still make amends for the lost time. So it's not a matter of the time. No teacher is interested in sitting at home, not teaching. No teacher. How are we doing with regards to the new curriculum? Uh, in fact, the information that we gathered from some of the members, honestly, a teacher being given a one CD worth of sobolo and a bread in a plain politin bag. Sometimes, you see, these are some of the things. That's why the job is not making, uh, not being attractive to other people. How can you even encourage your people to enter into a job that you find interesting? The allowance given, a teacher taking time off his voluntary vacation. And after all these things for a whole five days, you give the teacher just 50 Ghana cities. And that one to even, some amount was deducted for, they say, uh, certificate also, some to deducted uh, as tax. Look at that. <laughs> and and uh, do, you, do you know the th uh, threat that came with that uh, uh, workshop? They say any teacher who refused to attend that workshop should not be given a class. Uh -huh. That was a threat. The district directors gave to the teachers. Recently, the director general uh, held a stakeholders meeting at Ebri. Asked the director general whether he fed those uh, participants and with will, ACs. Will, will anybody, would the minister, the director of education, go to the even washing bay and give a, a tip off of what uh, less than five Ghana cities to the person who watched the car? And then you come to teachers who are going to implement a key policy like this, and you give them Sobolo one Ghana city, you give them, what is it? What is it? And then again, some, some shameless disc directors were able to charge 10 Ghana cities for a certificate, A4 sheet, hard card, 10 Ghana cities. Some shameless disc directors, they were able to take that money to print certificates. And again, you are giving people allowance for a whole week, 50 Ghana cities. Is it not an insult? It's not an insult to the highest order. People are not getting into the profession because they see what is happening around. How many children can say that I want to be a teacher? How many children? The uh, collective bargaining yeah. that he's talking about, it has been eight years now since it expired. We are still using it. Look at the economic conditions yes. uh, now. Eight, eight years. years, I'm telling you, my brother. It's eight months. years. I mean, what, 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 what kind of profession is it? You say you want to professionalize. You want to, is that how to professionalize uh, 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 the system? These things on social media, the children themselves saw it. Ah, they saw it. Yeah. They saw it. And then they talk about it. Even this morning, school reopened just today. And I went to school this morning. The children were, some of them were taking Sumbulu. And he said, ah, do you know, have you seen this thing on, on phone? Yes, it was given to our teachers when they went for that workshop. Look at that.
to even know they've, they've, they've even started teasing out with this Sobolo. Sobolo one city. That's what they've been saying. Sobolo one city. Sobolo one city. For a whole week. Teacher Sobolo one city. Teacher Sobolo one city. Until there's also a policy that every government appointee brings his or her child to a public school. From what we are doing, do, you, do they have their children in the public schools? We are paying them high and they are able to take their children to better schools. And they think that we should send our children to public school and they will come and load it over us again. We, we don't have anything to do. They should bring their children to public school and introduce these things there. Now they are going to impl uh, implement a new policy like this, a new curriculum. And as we speak, they are saying that teach with the, with the, with the pack. What, how do they call it? Teacher's pack. Uh, and then the, 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 the resource pack. And the textbooks will come later. When? TV3, you are uh, Mission Ghana. Mm -hmm. Look at the schools that you are showing. You are showing. Teachers teaching at that deplorable condition. How do you expect them to uh, 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 give, give of their best? If, you, if, if your child is in a private school, we are starting a new academic year. Book list. Mm -hmm. You have to buy you them. To buy it. And on top of that, you have to even put brown paper on them before you send them. Is that, is, is that what is happening in the uh, public schools? Any head teacher dares eh, ask the uh, children Parents. to bring a book, uh, book list. Is a problem. That, 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 that head teacher will be sacked the next day. So why do you expect us uh, uh, to uh, deliver when the resources for us to deliver is not there? I mean, what kind of system is this? So anybody who compares public school with a private school, I have a problem with that person. The, the person has serious problem that's with it. education. That person has serious, he doesn't understand the system. system. Those people who are saying it, they have their children in the private yeah. school. And they, they, and, and, they, and they will buy their books, exercise books, uh, uh, 20, uh, textbook, workbook. Anything they that put they uh, uh, they uh, brown paper on it. Anything they say they will go and Book buy. list, and they will send it to the school for them to start He's academic work. People will come and sit on air and, yes. and, 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 and he said that the public school are not doing well. The teacher is a trained teacher, yet he's not doing well. I mean, what, what, how can you speak like this? And they put uh, in conditions that are not the favorable. The tools that we need to uh, work with, it's not there. How do we work? They always they talk about our numbers, and the numbers are huge, and numbers are huge. they should collapse some of the schools. Simple. If you think the numbers are huge and therefore you cannot, they should collapse some of the schools. Now we can say we have few schools that they can manage. But in a, go to every, every aspect of this, every part of this country. There's a school there. Where others, other professionals are not going, teachers are there. Go to, go to, go to through the, um, the Rio Sur Road and see the kind of schools that teachers are teaching in there, the kind of road they walk before they go to school. Sometimes people have to walk long distances, no cars, nothing. And yet, the person has gone on promotion, and you are not promoting the person. And you expect them to perform? Is that how you should go? To all NAGRAT members, for us, we are on strike. Uh -huh. So nobody should be intimidated by any threat from any quarter. We are on strike. And I'm praying very hard that my brothers will join us uh, uh, on 20th, so that we'll fight. This one is a teacher sure. problem. It's not a NAGRAT problem. It's not a CCT program. It's not a NAT program.